I'm back, and we got the astronaut here. So let's begin. Oh wait, what did I do for this guy's voice? Good evening, everyone. Oh boy. Good evening. Nice to see you again. We are glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? Sure we have. On Earth, Beast calls us Neil. We are all friends. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. From what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You can say I'm a regular here. She's here every damn night. And you, sir. Hi. You come here often. For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where did you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation systems mean nothing. That sounds very far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do you all kind of dress like this? Oh, this. We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Ar Arami Jandru album cover? What the hell is that a reference to something? I don't get it. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we're doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. Before that, please let us order something from the baristas. Barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. It is. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyways. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you'll be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Feel something like, um, like a uh, caffeine high. Bitter. I wonder if I should put some sweet in it too. You can't taste. I'm just gonna do an espresso. That's what Freya likes, right? She always asks for the usual. So this is his usual. Cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the... Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Woo boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes. Normally, yes, but you can't be so sure with Freya. <laughs> we kid, because we're friends. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us. We are travelers. Doing our job in space you call the Milky Way. What job? Oh, she said what job. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. 
really out here to find a date? All the way from a galaxy far away? Far, far away. Far away. Wow. Turns out perms exist everywhere in the universe. Nah. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if you can make a egg. Ugh. If we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We're sorry, but that is classified information. Oh man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it's going well. I'm not surprised. With how quick, quirky and unique you are. That's a good way of putting it. Not many women can handle that. Handle? Could you handle them now? Me? I don't know, what do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further if, uh, if it gets you a good story. Really? It's kind of like calling her a slut, isn't it? Ha <laughs> She took it well, so I guess she didn't see it that way. Oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. You can go on a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather. Does it mean that you're willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Oh, man. Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for buy our drink or, di or dinner in exchange for stories. But I only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be a boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have never heard of these terms before. Or we have heard. Let's check them once again. Do, 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 do. This is this is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have control. I don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge don't also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live far for a very, very long time. That's true. If you got uh, vampires and werewolves running around, then you're gonna have even more population problems. So, even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. Rules about having kids. I don't know what the rules he's talking about. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least that was we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. The easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. I like the way they say Miss. The very respectful. Ask away. How can we become your husband? Oh, man. Ha 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 ha. She took that well. First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Were you talking about marriage? Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You start by asking whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? 
Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now, <laughs> the path to start the date varies between people. But usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It'd be easier if you'd, you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others? That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still a totally different league. Most women prefer that their male partners wear condoms. Condoms. Something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Um, this is a foreign concept, right? Why would you, why would you do the male ritual if you do not w want to have offspring? You can't feel anything, so, or you can't taste anything. Maybe you can't feel anything either. Hi there. Oh, this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms, but how you can have sex. Like seeing how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Eh. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the, the details unless we agree to the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you don't need not worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research. And we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. Mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you much for the information you've given us tonight. It means a lot for my mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We're not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. Really nice talking to you, both of you. You're welcome. We are off. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. Interesting conversation there. That guy's kind of an interesting character. In this, in this game um, of a lot of interesting characters, I guess. They, got, they don't like each other very much. I take it. They don't really have anything to say to each other. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yes, but their date never came. And they mistook Miss Myrtle for the date. Game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It's pretty awkward. Might you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, has a young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are we? Are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy, to the point where Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy for to make Jala, Gala join a random conversation. And this just really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Probably annoys her him. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? 
It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh, well. It'll be a peaceful week then. Ha 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 ha. Eh. He's getting to know her better. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, didn't even notice that. I really don't care about business. She didn't know anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Eh, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Fran, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding... Ugh. Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright, then. See you around. Take care of the way, folks. Ooh, end of the day. Or end of the night, I guess it is. Italian delight. Oh. I don't know what Italian... Oh, ca cappuccino. Not Italian delight. Cappuccino... Sounds pretty good right now. So, I'm gonna go for the day. And I'll see you on the next night in Coffee Talk. Bye.